you are welcome to LFN What's Your Say? Your number one listening show, where we discuss real issues with real people like you. We are still featuring R. Kelly. At a time like this, when everyone is questioning as to whether R. Kelly will ever get out of prison and return to music, the R&B king is keeping optimistic and planning for life after prison. According to Kelly, when he is free again, he intends to do two things. Make great music for his fans and take good care of his children. Hess says, I am not sure how old they will be by then but, in my eyes, my kids will always be my kids no matter how old. Kelly says he misses his children, especially Joanne Kelly who has stood by him ever since he started his legal battles. But he also misses his fans a great deal and cannot wait to deliver great songs to keep them entertained. He therefore has to go back to what he does best R. Kelly. And that is make hits that will top the charts like he did before. There are a number of things Kelly did that he has lived to regret ever since he got arrested back in 2019. Among these was taking care of people that would later turn around on him and fight him. He wishes he had loved his children more, giving them more time, and dedicated all the resources he wasted to taking care of them. Instead Kelly was in and out of jail for skipping his remittances to the care children's welfare. In Kelly's words, I thought the people I had around me loved me, but life has a way of revealing the truth at the worst possible time. I was wrong Kelly said. When I am out of here, I will trust and relate less, work more, and focus on making my life better. I will do less of writing great songs for others but myself. I think it's time to love myself a little more and take good care of my family. One of the things I will always appreciate though, is the love my fans have shown me even when I am not around to entertain them. Those that have stuck with me all through the long journey, and those that take time to make good comments about the R. Kelly they know well. R. Kelly spent most of his life savings on taking care of all kinds of people. He lived with a number of girlfriends of his, and also had a big heart to help those that approached him with need. Everyone that lived in Kelly's house, he took care of from feeding to clothing, and gave the best he could. There was no way he was going to save much with this kind of loving and giving heart. Who knows what his net worth would be by now if Kelly was not this kind of person. On top of this, he had his family to care for. Considering the living standards in the US today, Kelly must have spent close to $50 million taking care of people over the years. And a lot more in protecting himself from the very same people he lived with and cared for. If all this is put together, Kelly spent his entire net worth, that is over $100 million on loving others. This is almost everything he made through his entire life. Why he chose to take this path, nobody knows. The good news however is that his mind is now made up never to return to this kind of life. These are some of the things he is phasing out when he gets out of prison he says. Many fans appreciate these resolutions the R&B King is making. Many wish R. Kelly had chosen this path a lot earlier in life but in any case, what's done is already done. It's better to focus on the future as this is the only thing he can now determine. Juanita says. Indeed, we cannot wait for you to be back to us Robert. But if you return the same Robert, you are going to face the very same problems. I am happy to learn that you are making resolutions of this nature. It's important that you change the way you connect with people and keep your friends at the minimum. Not everyone you call friend is truly one. Otherwise we are praying for your freedom to come soon. According to Matilda. Indeed, Kelly ought to change very many things when he gets out of prison. The way he lived most of his life was simply unrealistic and unsustainable. No millionaire will survive spending money like that. It could have been okay for him to choose a polygamous life. But it's way too expensive to do this, taking care of so many girlfriends. According to statistics, this is the fastest way for one to lose money. Kelly ought to change this part of his life and return to a soul estate, so he can have enough time to take good care of his children. He also needs to cut down on his friends and staff. 
or at least make sure the people he works with have boundaries they can't cross. This will help avoid incidents such as the robbery that saw his former worker sweep clean two of his Atlanta mansions. According to Letty Quahays, The sad thing is that here in the United States, government can do whatever they want to any one of us, and there's not a damn thing we can do about it. When R. Kelly was acquitted the first time, people still to this day thought he was guilty then and guilty now. People with common sense however know that R. Kelly wasn't treated fairly. It took nearly two years to finally get this case started. Who didn't watch Surviving R. Kelly? I bet the jury did. The Gail King interview, who didn't see that, I bet the jury saw that too. So how can anyone say R. Kelly got a fair trial? It's however mind refreshing to learn that Kelly is now reflecting on where he could have gone wrong. And that he is now ready to correct all his past mistakes, and remind the world of who he truly is. According to Stephanie Luke. I hope all these people are Kelly wrote songs for, and sang with do not come back asking that he do it again after they all turned their backs on him, and brought down the songs he turned to gold. I would be damned if this happened. They ought to remain in their place and forget about Kelly. Try elsewhere and hope to get the same quality of service, only in their dreams. According to Crystal. It is so weird and funny how a person can inspire many people, and glow when the sun is beaming, however, when the same person is down, those many people that he has been helping are the very ones that turn their backs on him. I want to believe if Michael Jackson was still with us, he would have helped our Kelly. I pray for and support this man. Though, he is not perfect, hell. None of us is perfect. We are human and we as human beings will make lots of mistake in life. I just pray that when he is finally out, R. Kelly will take a break to rejuvenate and get himself together on a mental and physical aspect. God is not through with him. Kelly still has work to do. We love you Robert. If you wish to take part in a live interview discussing any of these topics, let us know by sending an email to sashalfnmedia at gmail.com for scheduling. Thank you for watching today's video. A production of LFN Media, giving you another perspective of issues at hand. We make it our business to keep you updated with the truth amidst the cloud of lies the media wants you to believe. It is therefore important to subscribe to this channel, hit the bell icon and allow all notifications so that you don't miss out whenever we publish a new video.